Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Overlay Analysis Tool in QGIS. The Overlay Analysis Tool will help you determine the percentage coverage of one layer onto another. Stick around. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I have two layers here. One is the county boundaries for the state of Utah. The other one's called Utah lands. This is all the BLM land in Utah. And what we're trying to do is determine how, what percentage of the BLM land is covered by each county. So the first thing we need to do is actually for our BLM lands layer is to merge it all into one record or one polygon. To do that, let's go and select onto that and go up to vector, geometry tools, collect geometry. So our input layer is the Utah lands layer. And our output could either be a temporary folder I could, or a temporary file just by running, or we could designate a location. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Merged. And I already did this earlier, so I'm just going to replace that and run. This should just take a moment. Okay, so we'll go and close that. And we'll turn that off. And as you can see now, it's just one record, one big polygon. So now what we need to do is do our overlay, excuse me, the overlap analysis. So in our toolbox, I just simply started typing overlap analysis and it should come right up. So if you go to that, and our input layer is going to be our counties layer. Our overlay layer is going to be this Utah lands merge layer. So I'll select onto that, come back, and run. Okay, so it looks like there is a problem with this Utah lands merge layer. It has some invalid geometry. Now, in the toolbox, there's actually a, a tool where you could actually um, fix that. So if I type fix geometries, Utah lands merge layer, and I'm just going to create a temporary this time. So what it's going to do is just create, uh, it's going to go through and kind of fix some of these invalid geometries. Sometimes you could think of it as like a piece of paper. If it's folded onto it itself, that could be an issue. And QGIS will go ahead and, and fix that, which is a wonderful tool. So it looks like it's complete and fix geometries. Okay. So if we go back to our overlap analysis tool, and we change this back to counties, our overlay layer is going to be this fixed geometries. And our final result is going to be an overlap. Again, we could just say run to create a, a temporary file, or we could save it off. I'll just go ahead and just save it off as a temporary folder, or excuse me, temporary file. So let's go ahead and run that. It shouldn't take too long, but of course it depends on the file size and how much you're, you're processing. But it should just take a few minutes. Okay, so that is complete. I'll close out that window. So now we have our, so this is our BLM land, and then this is the overlap of the BLM land along with the counties. So if I open up the attribute table here, and we go and scroll over here, I'm actually going to hide a couple of these columns here just so we can kind of see everything. Okay. So here we have the area and do I need to come over? Okay. Yeah. So here's the county names 
This is the area, the geometry that's overlapping in a, a percentage. But let's go and change this into um, something that's a little more readable. So if we go over to fill calculator and we say LM set, change the field to a real number. Okay, go over to fields, our last field, we're going to divide it by 100. Okay. All right. So as you can see, the highest counties here have just a little over 60% of the BLM covering their county. And down here is the counties with the, the less amount. So let's go and just double check our data here. So I'm just going to kind of zoom this thing up and bring this back. Okay. And what we could also do is actually just change this to graduated and percent. Change the color ramp to greens. And classify. Say apply. OK, so as you see, the darker the green, the higher the, the density or the overlap of um, of the BLM land. So if we kind of start highlighting these off, yeah, that's true. So these darker areas I'm highlighting are certainly the, the higher percentage. And it makes sense because right over here, the lower percentage is the most populated areas. And these are the little more rural areas. Okay, guys, so I hope this quick uh, demonstration on how to use the overlap analysis tool um, was helpful for you guys. Um, I find it really helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. And as always, please like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching.